And now we will talk about the eye, eye area. And the eye is made up of the eyelash, the eyeball, including the eye whites, and the eyebrows. Let's forget, first get into the eyeball parts or iris. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing you got to do is cut out the whole white part, including the purple. So use a pen tool or the polygonal lasso tool and cut out this part, copy and paste or uh, cut and paste, right? So it's in, on different layer. And then do it again with just the purple part, including the uh, what do you, outline, all right? And then you got to do one for each highlight spots. So this white piece here, and this white piece here. And you have all these in different layers. Now step two is to fill in the missing parts. What do you mean the missing part? First thing of all, if you cut out the purple part out of the white part, if you turn off the purple or turn off the iris, what's, uh, whoops. what's left would be a big open hole right here and you can see the face color. Now that's a problem because when your eyeball move to the left or to the right, up or down, then those parts will show and expose with the empty area, a void area. Now you got to take the neighboring color and fill it all in. Other than the center part, you also need to fill in a little bit of the upper part. If I show you the eyelash and take it out. Now do you see behind the eyelash, I have a little bit more white part here, a gray or gray part here, and I fill them in myself. If I turn down the opac uh, wait, if I turn down opacity on my eyelash, you will see how much I actually filled in. So you need those parts because sometimes your eye, maybe I would 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 uh, sort of opens bigger when if you characterize the, like a shocking emotion, and her eyes opens wide. And a little bit more white needs to be shown. And that's why you need to fill in that those parts. So you got that in. The eye white should be simple. Now the iris or the eyeball. Since you cut out the uh, white little highlights, now you got to open void areas of the eyeball and you need to fill those in. Also, for my example, I need to fill in a little bit of the upper part right here because in the normal expressions, her eyelash covered a little bit, maybe, maybe about, um, I don't know, right here is like what, 2 mm or 3 mm of, of thickness right here that is covered up and I need to fill them in, obviously, because that when my eyeball looks down, then upper part will be exposed. If I don't have them in, it will look weird. It, all right. So, and, and for, um, for my example particular, uh, this is actually two parts right here. There's the lower eyelash, and then there's the um, eyeball covered part of it. So if I take out the lower eyelash, I don't, I don't know if you can see anything right here, but um, if I take it off, there's actually a little bit more eyeballs shown, and I want it to be a nice curve right here to make it look natural. All right, and then I have the eyelash cut out, and put them into the eyelash group. So that's about the eyeball. Let me turn on the highlights, and let me see. Oh, and you want to use the pull, uh, the pen tool for the iris. I mean, eyes are important for enemies, big eyes, right? So you want to have the eyes in a nice uh, spherical shape. You don't want to use the polygonal lasso tool, which make it look polygonal and have corners, you want to have a nice sphere. And that's why for the eye part, try to push for it. If you're not familiar with it, try to push for it. Use the pen tool and do some nice curves to cut out the, um, the iris in a, a nice round shape. If you don't know how to do that, uh, go back to my previous episode. I think I have one episode talking how to use a pen tool um, for basics, all right? And so I got the pen tool, what else do I need? Okay, and also some characters have longer bangs than mine, which in their case, maybe their eye, uh, their hair will extend all the way here and cover some of the 
eye. Now for most art style out there that I know of, when the hair covers the eye, the colors, uh, I don't know. Nowadays, nowadays they have the eye color overlapping or override, overriding the hair color. Some of them have the hair color overriding the eye color. So, in other words, if I got this piece of hair extending all the way down, and maybe you'll see two strands of um, blonde hair across the eye. Or in some cases, you'll see some outlines of the hair extending, but the eye will still have their full color um, with the, uh, on top of the hair. Personally, I would prefer the hair over the eye, but I, I noticed that some animes out there, probably for um, uh, because of the cost problem for productions, they make it easy for them so they have the eyes on top of the hair. You see, you you will still see the um, the outline of the hair, but you won't see color of it. If that's the case, then go to the hair and fill up those colors of the hair that is missing. If it's other way around, if for say like you have some uh, character with uh, very long hair, sort of like an emo hairstyle, and it actually overlaps half of the face, and the eye part has no color, it's all covered by hair, but just the outline of the hair. In that case, you gotta fill up the eye colors. Except, except if you are so sure that in any case, or in no case, that your character no matter how he or she turns his head, move around, and still the hair will always cover the eyes, then you can ignore the eyes. But in if some case that the character might show the eyes because of maybe because you have the uh, physics uh, mechanic in the hair, and maybe when it moves, the hair swings, maybe if there's wind, the hair uh, swings as well, then it might show the eyes. In that case, you would need your eye to have color. One way to do it is to fill it, fill it in yourself. But I mean, if you have, only have a mouse without pen tool, uh, without the um, stylus or Wacom tablet, yes, it's kind of hard. Uh, if you're lucky, if you take the base image, it's one that is symmetrical, then yeah, you can take the right side and copy it over to the left side. Maybe that you can pull it off with that. All right, otherwise, uh, even if you do so, if you flip it over, right, remember to move your highlights uh, from this side to this side because if you flip you also flip the highlight so which means that you're supposed to highlights are always on the left side or they're always on the right side they should be um equal right uh so flipping eyes always remember to move your highlights spotlights and that's my advice let me see what else so you gotta fill in the colors you gotta take away the hair color or if you hair, have the eye over the hair, you need to fill in the hair color. And then we can move on to the eyelash, all right? So let's take a look at the eyelash. Or I'm just turning off my eyeball. And this, what is left is the eyelash. Now the eyelash may be also covered by the hair. Now remember to fill it in if you're ex expecting that it will show. And for official live 2Ds, sample tutorial sample and their tutorial advice they advise you to have the eyelash in three parts one up one is the upper and top part one is the bottom part and one is the side part um now i have done that method in some of my past projects but in this one i will use uh one of my sort of original method of doing the eyes which i will have three different states three variants of um, of the eyes eyelash and how I animate it is that as this eyelash this wide open eyelash closes down to halfway it will disappear and the half eye open will um, move from upwards uh, up here to down here as it appears so, uh, how do I explain that in short? Which means that I'm interchanging in between different states of the eye. I take at least three part, if not two part, or two different uh, eyelashes, and I will interchange between them, and that's why I don't need to have three separate parts, which require less work. I don't know, 
probably an official method is better uh, uh, would need less work but it doesn't work for all all our styles and that's why um, I'm picking this one instead where did I take this if we go back to my source PSD it's actually over here remember this is my base image and I took this eyelash I also took this eyelash and put them into along with my main image right here if you can find them good you can put them in as well and follow this method if not you can um, uh, I'll talk about them maybe later but if not uh, the official live tutorial teaches how to do the eyes uh, yeah or you can send a message I'll explain I'll explain more in details all right so but anyways if you are following one method you will have three different states of the eye open half and closed for the close one I don't need the lower part because they are merged right um, for the extra piece here the what I call the eyelid if you can see it's this part this part right here this is the eyelid and the eyelid are supposed to follow the eyes to move down when it shuts I just need one of them um, which means that for the half open one I actually don't need this one but I have it anyways um, but otherwise erase that one and just take this one so you have the eyelid the eyelash and the lower eyelash these are the eyelashes that's pretty simple now we talk about the uh, eyebrows right never forget the eyebrow it's easy to forget when you're preparing material it's easy to forget the eyebrows you need them all right so in my case it's over here they're fairly simple nothing tricky um, f again fill in the colors if fill in the parts that is missing that is a void if it's covered by hair or whatever it's up there uh, fill them in and make it a complete eyebrow and if you got the eyebrow the eyelash and the iris including eye white that's all you need for the eyes all right in the next episode I'll probably talk about the mouth and then I'll see you guys